Hi, welcome back to Space Coast Channel's Lively Brevard. I'm Jennifer Cleveland. And I'm Malak. Welcome back. And we are here with Gina Onori from Swell Life Magazine. Hi, Gina. Hi, thank you guys for having me, and thank you, Space Coast Channel. It is awesome <laughs> that you're here. Can you tell us a little bit about your magazine? Yes, well, I just started Swell Life Magazine, and it's a new local magazine. Uh, it's all about just helping, you know, the community come together through, you know, we do spotlight businesses, local surfers, local artists, and I just kind of started it in order to kind of expose, you know, our community. What made you think of that, or why did you start something like that? Because obviously you're very young, yeah. you know, so that's fascinating to me. Well, what gave you the start, what gave you the idea, the passion for it? Well, I've always loved surfing, and I've always loved writing, um, so it's definitely always been something I've wanted to do. And I don't know, this past year, I just was like, why not just go for it? So I just went for it, and now I'm doing it. That's all Excellent. I can really say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, is this a full-time job? Uh, no, I mean, I do surf instructions on the side. Okay. I do little things here and there. Um, That's important to know. But it's definitely becoming full-time. It's so much work. But it's, you know, when you love something, it's not work. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a passion. But it's definitely kind of becoming full-time. So the, the magazine is in print and it's online also? Yes. So and where can people pick up the print magazine? It's right now, it's in Cocoa Beach, Brevard, all like beachside areas, uh, Wind and Sea, Endless Summer, Juice and Java, downtown Cocoa Beach. Is basically. that free? Is that free? It's free, yes. Okay, so nice. if that's for free, that's wonderful, nice for us, yeah. but you know, so is it by advertisement? Is this how you make your money? Because right. Because somebody yeah. needs to pay for the printing. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's, yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so it's, it's advertising, so you're always looking for advertisers, obviously. Okay. Right. Now, how many prints have you done so far? Uh -huh. Right now, it's 1500 and okay. obviously, you know, I'm hoping to grow and expand, and that's, you know, my goal. So we'll see. It's already growing, though, um, especially on our Instagram and Facebook. Like, the more videos we post and photos we post, it's definitely yeah, growing. Followers, absolutely. And are you focusing yeah. on surfing or beach life? Well, yes. yeah, it's interesting because when I first started, I was like, well, maybe I'll just focus, you know, just on surfing. Yeah. Because um, that's really the only area of expertise, really, that I have. Uh, but the more I kind of did that and was out taking pictures of surfers, I started no noticing like kite surfers and paddle boarders and fishermen. And I was like, well, why don't I just include everyone? Because we're all, you know, watermen and women in our mm -hmm. community and I want to support everyone and give everyone a chance. How long have you been surfing? Well, I started surfing when I was 13 and then I, I learned in California um, and I'm from South Florida. So then I kind of stopped for a while because there was really no waves in South Florida. And then I started coming to Cocoa Beach, which is why I really love it here for the past couple years. So I would say consistently the past couple years. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so how old are you now? I'm 27. So what are your future plans for this, you know, for yourself, for the magazine, obviously, and for the community? What's your future plans? What do you got in mind? Well, honestly, they're always changing. Um... When I first started this, like as I just, I loved writing, which I still do. I love writing, I love surfing, so I kind of wanted to combine the two and see what happened. Um, the more and more I get involved in it, the plans are kind of changing. <laughs> like like you were talking about, um, I want to involve kiteboarders and paddleboarders, yeah. and I really am enjoying um, really supporting our youth and making an impact on the kids. Um, it's really neat to see them get involved. For our next feature, um, we're doing like a Grom feature where uh, we interviewed a bunch of local, you know, Groms, which is little yes, kid surfers. Yes, yes. Okay. You know? I'm glad yeah, you yeah. told us what that was. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people knew that. But um, we interviewed a bunch of local kids, and it's just really cool to, like, see them uh, happy and, like, stoke them out and really make a positive impact on our youth. You know, um, that's something that I really would like to continue down the line, no matter what. It appears you know. to be the theme this evening, as you know, um, we interviewed Marty Ward tonight, and also that's her passion as well as mine, obviously, and the rest of us as children, so that's great that you're dedicating some of your time for them also as well. Yeah. Through your experiences, though, with surfing and with the magazine, have you encountered any exciting stories or unfortunate stories? I don't know if I believe in really unfortunate. I think everything happens for a reason, and you can always turn something into a positive mm -hmm. no matter what it is. Um, the most intense story would be Matt Bellina, um, which he was, I think he was like the first person that I had interviewed for our first edition, and he had broken a couple of vertebrae when he was wow. sliding down a water slide. Uh, great surfer, awesome guy, uh, but like I said, he really had turned something so negative into a positive, and he's such a beautiful person, 
such an awesome spirit and he actually got back in the water went surfing and it was just a beautiful story like that was awesome honestly very touching do you have anything yeah. coming up any events or anything that people can attend yeah well Ricky Carroll local surfboard shaper and awesome surfer is gonna be having a Christmas party in December uh, Swell Life magazine will be there we're gonna have a tent there mm -hmm. um, we're also doing something on the side that we're gonna have a little clothing line coming out oh wow yeah so I'm really stoked on that so our uh, new clothing line will be available there for purchase um, but yeah, it's going to be an awesome event, so Are definitely. Are those designed by you? Yeah. Wow. Nice. That's Very cool. nice. Yeah, like I said, I've got a lot going on. I've been doing yes, that all day, too, so, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Wait, is there anything that we can do for you, the community, you have your chance to tell us? Right. Yeah, so read anything. the magazine, read Swell Life if you're into it. Um, definitely check out our Instagram, which is Swell Life Magazine. Check out our Facebook, Swell Life Magazine. Like us and share with your friends. Um, go out and surf and just be stoked. So how did you hear about um, the Space Coast Channel and Lively Brevard? Well, that was actually an interesting story. Um, I went to the NKF and I went to go shoot for Swell Life magazine. Um, funny story. What's NKF? Oh, the, I'm sorry. <laughs> the National Kidney Foundation. It was a team oh, wow. contest. Uh, I was taking pictures and then they were like, uh, CC Rats, which is like a local team, was like, oh, we'd love to have you on our team. <laughs> um, and so I ended up surfing in a contest with my clothes on because I didn't have a bathing oh suit with some random board. It was really funny. And then afterwards, um, Joseph had come up to me from Space Coast Channel and was like, hey, like, love what you're doing. We should collaborate or whatnot. And it was just awesome. He's a great guy, good energy. Um, obviously, we have a lot of similarities with what we're doing. So I was like, yeah, for sure. I love, you know, like-minded people and we could totally help each other out in our community. So um, yeah, it was super awesome. We had a good time and now I'm here. <laughs> The event for the Kidney Foundation was organized for Rick Salick to benefit his organization, or can you explain that a little bit? Right, I know that he had passed away, unfortunately, and um, I met his brother, who's an awesome guy. Um, it's actually my second year going, and it's just a super awesome event. You know, a lot of surfers in our community just get together for an awesome cause, and uh, it's a super just low-pressure contest where everyone's just having fun, and it's for a great cause. Yeah, well, thank you, Jean. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, yeah, yeah thank you guys thank for having you. me. Thank it was you. lovely to meet you guys. Same here. Thank Very you. Nice. And again, it's an honor, and those roses are yours. Isn't that beautiful? Thank and we you. Wish They're so amazing. <laughs> really, thank you. And what do you think of this place as well? I love Coastal Interior. As soon as I walked into the door, I was, like, trying too hard not to, like, shop and go crazy. Um, <laughs> The vibe in here is just super relaxing. I feel right it's at home. Homey. Isn't it homey? Yeah. yeah. Very, Very beachy. Homey. Definitely. Yes. Yes. What is, um, what's your phone number and your email also so that people can reach you? Definitely. My phone number is 321-987-6856. And my email is swelllifemag at gmail.com. Very nice. Beautiful. Again, thank you, Gina. Thank it's you. awesome thank to have you, you here. It's a pleasure. And thank we will you. see you all later. Thank you, Buds and Bows, from Gino Nori at Swell Life Magazine.